Hello, here I am in my studio and I'm going to show you a few different ways of making um, paper mache and plaster and maybe something else too. So I made a figure. So we're going to cover this with paper mache. This is just bottles that I glued together. And I made, let's see, it's a little unsteady. And I made, I have this, which is the beginning of something I think will be a chicken. We'll see what that happens with, with that. And then I have a little pig here. Just put the legs on, just throw some cardboard. The ears are um, these um, candle thingies that I just fold into two and then cut and then I make the ears. And I'm going to make the mama pig as well. This is going to be that. I'm going to show you more details. Okay. So to make paper mache you just need really three things. You need glue, you need water, and you need some uh, paper, some thin paper. I'm using some newspaper here. Then you just mix some glue with a little bit of water and you want to use less water than glue so yep, that was a little much maybe so here's my glue and my water and I'm just gonna mix it together with my hand so it's kind of a thin thin glue. And then you just take your newspaper pieces, like these kind of square pieces, and you just dip it in, and then you um, can rub it off a bit, you can run your fingers along it, um, which is hard for me to show since I'm holding the camera, but you can take your fingers and just run it down and then you want to just start adding it to your sculpture okay so I'm gonna keep adding dipping in the glue taking it off I might have to make some more glue mixture after a little while and then I just keep adding it to the piece and then just keep going around and around with these paper pieces uh, around the whole thing. Now I've gotten pretty far. I have the head done. I have most of the body done. Just have the legs to go. Okay, now I have finished putting the newspaper pieces all over the figure. I'm going to close this handle a little bit. So I'm going to make a nose out of that. And I also made a little round piece that I'm gonna put here to be the mouth of the figure, but I want that to dry first. So now this whole layer of uh, newspaper and uh, glue and water will have to dry before I can do the next layer. I'm sorry my floor is so messy it's hard to see, but this is the body and snout of the mama pig. These are going to be her feet. And I think I'm going to use plaster to cover this one. It might become very brittle uh, since I only want to do a thin layer, but I'll give it a try. See how it goes. So for that I need a little bit of water. I'm not going to need very much. And then I need plaster, which I have here. So all you need to do is just sprinkle it all over the water and you carefully keep adding it. Try not to get any clumps in it all the way till, um, till you see the plaster start coming on top of the water. So it's going to take a few cups so I'll get back to you. So now we're starting to see that the plaster is sitting kind of on top of the water in the bucket 
Need to just I want to make sure everything is wet and that the plaster is all the way to the top. Okay, that looks about good. Then I'm gonna let that sit for about five minutes or so. Okay, it's been about four or five minutes. Now I'm gonna stir here, make sure there are no clumps in this. This is still pretty runny. So I'm gonna let it sit for another minute or so. Okay, it's been another minute. It's a little bit thicker now. It sets pretty fast, so I'm gonna start right away. Uh, if you don't have such a messy floor as I do, it's a good idea to put, obviously, newspaper and things around whenever you do any of these things. Put, put stuff on the floor first, or your table, or whatever you work on. So I have this burlap fabric. Um, you can use other fabric too. I have one here. It's a little bit more of a canvas, but it needs to be a fabric with um, with holes so that the plaster can uh, get really into it. So I'm going to do the same as I kind of did with the um, with the uh, paper mache. I'm gonna dip it into it. Take a little bit off, and then just start layering this around the body. And I'm going to use some of this more rugged fabric, so this is going to be a rugged little pig. So this is pretty messy stuff. I just dip it in here. Something covered, and then I. Add it to the form. Another piece. So with the plaster, I don't scrape off as much. I pretty much leave it the way it is. And then the fabric should just sort of cross each other slightly so that it becomes stronger that way. The fabric ties into each other. And that's how you go around the whole form. Okay, that's as much plaster as I had in my first batch. It's now sitting on its little nose. Uh, I have a few bare spots here that I need to cover. Uh, I added the legs as I was um, putting the fabric in the plaster. For the legs I used the um, skinnier, the, the lighter fabric instead of the burlap. Uh, I'll probably add a little burlap to them after. So this is what that looks like so far. So I'm adding a little bit more of plaster. Just made like three cups worth, not much. So I'm just gonna see if I could finish the layer of plaster. All right, here's Miss Piggy. I don't know if she looks like a pig even, but. Uh, I'm going to make the airs out of this um, candle holder thing. So, yeah. Take out this thing in the middle. Should be able to cut through. There they are. So I just squeeze them together. Now, if I wanted to have this um, form smoother, I kind of like it more rugged, but I could just take plaster as it is on a second layer and just add smoothly over, and then I would have a very, then I could have a smooth surface. And you can also use sandpaper on it once it dries. Um, so that would be a much smoother, smoother surface if you want, if you like that. Pretty cute family, these two. 
So for the baby pig, I am just brushing on straight glue and pouring some sand. You can use dirt, you can use um, anything you find out along the road, I guess. Um, and then I just keep going around adding so I get a texture like sand. Here it is, sort of first layer of sand. And uh, I might try to do a second layer or I might just leave it because I think I'll paint it after so then it'll still give it some nice texture. Okay, I made the head of the uh, chicken here. This is a very lazy chicken. And I'm thinking I'm going to do paper mache on this as well as I did on the uh, on the full figure. The chicken.